What's going on Pokemon fans, your boy DSK here, and we have ourselves a brand new variation of Waylord Mill. Normally Waylord is run with Bunnelby or any type of other um, disruption to try and get yourself to mill out. This is a little different while that is still the optimal goal of this deck. Um, we also threw in a nice little spicy Tauros tech with Ninja Boy in there because Tor uh, Waylord can take a butt ton of damage. So once you Ninja Boy out of the Whale Lord into a Toro GX, you can Rage for knockouts, you can Mad Bull GX for knockouts. So you're also you're actually taking prizes with this deck as well as milling your opponent on the same process. So like I said, we have the twelve the uh, twelve Lords. The Toros GX, Mad Bull GX and Rage, 10 times and 30 times the amount of damage counters. We have the whale just to sit there and look pretty. Hammers for disruption, dive balls to get more whales. Ropes to get out of situ sticky situations just in case. Four max potions just to piss off your opponents when they think they have you right on the brink of like uh, knocking it out. Four puzzles to get back stuff or even just to look trying to organize your cards, um, the, your top three cards. Four mail, four via seeker, pretty standard. Three rough seas to basically um, heal up your um, heal up some damage from the whale if you don't have a max potion handy. One lysander, you know, put something stuck in the active. Three ends and three shardons because we do not want to mill ourselves, hence why we don't play sycamores. Three ninja boys, the ninja boy into said um, Tauros to get the knockout. Three team rockets handiworks to continue the mill thing theme with this deck. Two belts because the uh, belted whale lord is at 290, which is damn near impossible to pull on one shot. Um, so you put that much damage on the Tauros, on, on the on the whale lord, you. Ninja Boy to Tauros, you don't even have to use your GX attack, you can use Rage and get knockouts that way, and save your GX attack for a later date if possible. Four Flowstone to go back and forth between whales if you can't find your Tauroses or Ninja Boy. Four, VS, uh, four DTEs to actually perform the attacks for Tauros. That's pretty much it, standard whale or dick, uh, deck for the most part. So. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and get into at least probably one match, two at most, depending on how fast this first one goes, but mill decks tend to take a while. So we will be back with you guys in just a second. Alright guys, we're going up against Lexville, who's running Psychic, Lightning, Dragon. So should be a plethora of fun stuff. I'm not entirely sure. Let me see. Lightning. Uh, yay! I'm not entirely sure. I'm assuming he was in there somewhere. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about, guys. I'm bad at this game. And again, can't get, can't catch a break. Start with that Toro, son. Awesome. We're off, or we're off to the races, people. Well, we do have the belt, so he'll be at 220. Yep, told you there was a teen in there. Well, we got the DCE. Show the belt. Can't play that yet. Let's see what we get from this trainer's mail. Dive ball? Hmm. Nah. I was gonna ninja boy to a whale, but there you go. That works too. Mm. No, I don't need to play that just yet. I don't need to play that just yet. All right, your move, sir. Let's see. We got Glaceon Tina. What else you got? All the fun stuff you got. I'm assuming there's a Jolteon in there somewhere. There's a Belted Tino, so he's at what, 210? Yep, 210. There's another Tina. Luckily, I don't play Megas, and he's not going to be able to dart um, Chaos Wheel just yet, so I kind of have to get that Stadium out. Which kind of sucks because if he Stadium locks me, it is what it is, but. Um, I can't attach tools either, so. But the good news is, if he hits me for 110, I can Mad Bull knock it out and not to worry about it no more. 400, no, 110, because of the belt. Ultra Bowl 4. Let's see what are the magical surprises he pulls out. Oh, he plays garbage, though. Not that it worries, not that it bothers me at all. No need to panic. And he ends me. That sucks. Not really. I mean, I had to vote in the, uh, the rough scenes, but maybe we'll get some better stuff. There you go. I can play the flowstone on the Tauros at least. 
I can play the rough seas. And I can go ahead and either Shano or Handiwork. Uh, play the rough seas. Yeah, we're gonna head Shano. We're gonna head, go ahead and Shano. Let's see if we let's see if we can get that that lovely DCE off. Of there we go. I redeemed you, sir. And I can also let's just start pecking away with some uh, some heart attacks. Forget, I keep forgetting he has a third attack that you don't need to have damage put on Toros for. So let me peck away that way. That's fine. I'm gonna hit you for another 70. Cause you can't touch me, at least not yet. I'm probably Sean again. And there's the fairy garden. Ooh, right. that sucks. That does suck. So that would, that's fine. We'll escape rope into to um into into Whale Lord. And then Shauna more more than likely. Depending on where you go, he he grabbed it so he can't do anything else yet. Dive ball for another whale. Sure, why not? Actually, we're just gonna Shauna now. That's fine, don't worry, I'm not worried about it. There you go. DCE. Go up on the whale lord. Now. Grab the end for the next turn. I'm going to the full zone of handiwork. No, we'll grab the end. Get out of the handiwork if necessary. Let's see if I can get the drag double dragon off. Yeah! <laughs> oh, man, that's gotta suck. What is that? That's gotta suck. He said, I, normally coin flips do not agree with me. But we're putting in that work right now, so the hammers. Ah, oh, boo you, sir. Boo you. Should have gotten the close out. Oh well. I mean, he probably would have Lysandered up the wall with the belt anyway, so it doesn't make a difference. Can't do nothing right now. Use your supporter so you can't get more cards. You have no space for another Shaman. He's just going to parallel me to three, which is perfectly fine. I have everything I need. Let's see what we get. Alright. I'm just gonna go ahead and end even though I know you have one card, but at the same time it's fine. No big deal to me. No big deal to me. We're gonna get this knockout, I think. 70. Nope. 210, yeah. Yep, get that knockout. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Even though this is a mill pack, I can still do work to knock <laughs> to actually knock you out. Some basic Pokemon. That's fun. Oh, miss. Oh, we're both getting the heads. That sucks. That sucks. Alrighty. How do we want to play this? Jesus Christ, three years ago. Do I want. Yeah, three, six. Yeah, we're gonna end. We're gonna end. Give me some more cards. Make him draw an extra one, I think? Yeah. We'll see. First, we'll play puzzle. Why would you play puzzle? You're an idiot, Keith. Good job. That was stupid. I don't know why I thought it was going to be in the beginning of the second one, but look at that, in another DCE. So we can continue the pressure, and we'll see if we can get rid of that the... Yeah! Look at that! Three for three on hammers! Let's go! Holy crap! Um, grab the Shauna for next turn, I guess. Holy crap! I could have grabbed the E-hammer, the e but that is sick! Three for three on them, on them hammers, boy. He is losing special energy like nobody's business. There goes the, 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 a dragon, I mean a uh, rainbow. He's at 80 plus 70. No, it's at 150. Yeah, 150. Let's see if he hits his. This is going to be sick. Does he hit his? Come on, play it. Let's see. 
Oh, it's a hammer fist. It's a hammer fist. Everybody's hitting hammers. <laughs> Holy crap. I think that's my third hammer. I have my third DC too. That sucks. Ah, uh, Boosie, you played that. I don't play that. Boo! That was funny though, I'm not gonna lie. I'm hoping he missed though. That sucks though. Now, if I get this there, if I get this last DCE off this, this Shauna, that's gonna be pretty damn sick. There goes down another Tina. Alrighty. Be a secret four? Sycamore? Do you think already played this before? No, we did not, but I take the Sycamores. In a middle deck, we take Sycamores, guys. We take Sycamores. That is funny though, I'm not gonna lie. Now hopefully I can find the E-Hammer with the Shauna. Cause I had a chance to grab it. But, yeah. So hopefully I can find it with the E-Hammer, or the last DCE, at least. That'd be, that'd be pretty damn funny. That's fine, I don't worry, I don't have the ability, guys. I don't worry, I don't need it. You're the one with the ability, with the Giratina, or the Shaman, for that matter. I don't need it. Tina, they have to worry about Tina with this, but still. Oh, you just flipped me. Okay, cool. I'm gonna be a real a hole. Oh, if I can find that DCE. You're gonna hit me for 30. That's three damage counters. 30 times three. Oh my god! That just happened. 30 times three is 90 damage. 190's gonna knock him out, so. Oh, we're just gonna be that guy. Oh, no, no, I ain't gonna need to do support for next turn. <laughs> and he quits! <laughs> oh, we were going back and forth. This was fun. That was fun. I'm not gonna lie. Went back and forth. That's pretty sick. We all, we, every hammer, every crushing hammer hit. That was funny as heck, guys. But. Yeah, like I said, even when you're trying to mill, you can still do work and have Tauros in the active, and as you can see, as long as you get as lucky as I did just there, and hit your hammers, you really put them in a bad spot because they can't really do anything, especially if they're a multiple, atta multiple energy um, attacker. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I will talk to you guys next time. Take care, and as always, God bless.